What's up, everybody? Hope you all are doing well today. We are looking at a horizontal projectile motion problem. We have a car that's going to be driving off a cliff, and it's going to land 20 meters from the base of the cliff. And our goal is to figure out, well, we want to find out how fast was that car moving when it left the cliff. So let's go ahead and set this guy up. The first thing we should do is basically write down what we know. Now, since we have two dimensions here, we're going to be doing the givens or the known values in two dimensions. So we're going to do the uh, x direction, x dimension, and the y dimension. Okay, so let's write down our five variables. So we have the initial, we have the final, we have acceleration, we have our displacement, and we have our time. And let's see what we know in both directions. So in the x direction, uh, we do not know the initial velocity. We do know the acceleration. Once this is in the air, okay, there's nothing accelerating it horizontally. Okay, it's nothing speeding it up or slowing it down horizontally. We will be assuming that there's no acceleration, um, no air resistance. So that means we would have, have zero acceleration. Okay, what we do know is the displacement is 20 meters. All right, and the time is also unknown. Now, in the y direction, this one, for the v initial, what I want you to notice is that the problem says we're moving horizontal. So that means initially when we leave the cliff, there is no vertical velocity, only horizontal velocity. So what we're going to say is the initial velocity is actually zero meters per second squared. Okay, now the final velocity, this is not when it impacts the ground, this is right before it hits the ground. So notice it's gonna be speeding up as it leaves. And so right before it hits the ground, it's gonna be getting, uh, be moving fairly fast, but we do not know that value. What we do know is the acceleration. So the acceleration is going to be negative 9.8. This is gravity, that's the only force acting on it once it's in the air. Okay, our displacement, well, this one we also know. So notice that we're starting up here at the top of the cliff. We're ending up somewhere at the bottom of the cliff. So we're ending up actually 30 meters below our starting point. So I will make a negative value for that because we're below, again, we're below where we started. Okay, and then the time we also don't know. So remember, we're gonna keep our X and Y values isolated from each other. And then we're just going to go ahead and see what we can find. So ultimately, we're looking for the horizontal velocity. So if you notice, we only know one, two things here. So we're missing. Oops. We are missing the third thing, right? Let's change our color. So we're missing. We know this and this. We're missing um, the third, which is the B initial, is what we're looking for. But we only know two values. What I want you to notice is once we are in the air, right? The time is the same both horizontally and vertically. There's no such thing as like time in the x direction, time in the y direction. There's just time, so that's going to be the same. So if we can find the time over here, then we know the time over here as well. And that's the key to solving these problems. Okay, so in the y direction, we do know three things, one, two, three. So we should be able to find the fourth thing, so you choose your equation that's going to work for you to solve this. So I'm going to choose this one, d equals vot plus one-half at squared. Okay, so my displacement is negative 30. My initial notice is zero here. And then we're going to go one-half, negative 9.8 times t squared. So solve for t, and you get a t of 2.47 seconds. So remember, that's the time in the y direction, but that's also the time in the x direction. So we now know the time in x. We know one more variable, and at this point now we have three, and we should be able to find the fourth one. So remember, we're looking for v initial. So I am going to use the same equation. So we'll go delta D 
equals VOT plus one half AT squared. Now remember when you do these, you have to um, keep your X and your Y separate from each other. So for example, for V initial, uh, sorry, for D, I'm going to be plugging in 20 meters, not 30 or not negative 30. Okay, so V initial, what we're looking for now, we do know the time, that is 2.47. Okay, and actually here's the big mistake. A lot of students plug in negative 9.8 for A. But remember, our A is actually zero here. So we're just going to plug in a zero. So then solve for VO. All right, I get a VO, I think that's 8.10 meters per second. So that's the velocity that we left the cliff way up here, 8.10 meters per second. So the second part of the question is asking, how fast are we moving right when we hit the ground? So in other words, down here, we're going to be moving with some speed right before we hit the ground. So we're looking for that. Okay, so what I want you to notice is right before we hit the ground, we have a horizontal speed. We have a vertical speed. Now the horizontal speed we already know. Remember, as we leave the cliffs and there's nothing speeding it up or slowing it down, it actually has the same horizontal velocity the whole time. So that we already know, that's 8.1. We just found that, right? But the vertical velocity, we have to calculate that. Now, since we know lots and lots of things, it should be pretty easy to find out what that final velocity is in the y direction. Okay, so let's do that first. And then I guess conceptually, what we're then gonna do is find this hypotenuse of the triangle here. So let me clear out just a little bit of space here so we can do that. Okay, so let's find the final velocity. So we'll use VF equals VO plus AT. Okay, so remember we're using just the vertical velocities, vertical values, so this will be zero, and then this was negative 9.8, and then our time is right here, right? So this is our time, 2.47 seconds. Okay, so you go ahead and solve that, your V final, I get negative, 24.2 meters per second. Remember, this is in the vertical direction. So what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna solve our triangle. So we have 8.1 meters per second going this way. Oops, 8.10 meters per second going this way. And then coming down, we have 24.2 meters per second. So use your Pythagorean theorem, 8.1 squared plus 24.2 squared equals c squared here and then you solve for that so my c i'm going to get 25.5 meters per second okay so that's the speed now we do want to find the angle as well so for that we can use well again we can just use our tangent function so we'll go tangent of theta equals 24.2 divided by 8.1. And then your inverse tangent, solve for theta. So I get a theta of 71.5 degrees. Okay, so this is a mess, sorry about that. So what's our final, final answer here? Go ahead and just shrink this maybe a little bit. Here's all our answers I have on the side right here. So our V phi final is going to be 25.5 meters per second at 71.5 degrees. And then you could just say like below the horizontal. And there we go. All right, hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to comment below and I'll try to answer them as best I can. All right, have a great day.